I just parted out two of these uh, sets, 60230. It has a whole bunch of uh, astronauts and space-related uh, minifigures. It's a space minifigure pack. And I got two of these because they were kind of on sale at the Lego store. You know, the Lego store doesn't have the best sale, but when they do have sale and you're already buying a whole bunch of stuff, and plus you get the promotional items and you get VIP points, it's really worth it. So uh, the part out value here is not three times. It's uh, maybe, I'd say, last time I checked, I think it was between double to triple. So maybe two point something, two point something. But yeah, I think it has uh, some cool pieces. These uh, alien heads are really cool. Check this out. And they're kind of that uh, rubbery material. I mean, it's rubber, right? Not plastic. I think that's a good addition. I really like these space rocks. Not quite sure what other sets they come in, but they look pretty cool. I mean, I've been doing this since 2019, so this is kind of new to me. Maybe they've been around before. Not quite sure. You guys can mention it in the comments if you're familiar with this uh, part. But I think there are some uh, cool parts in here. Uh, I think these uh, would come in handy for sure. Uh, yeah, and that's it for these two sets. I'll move on to the uh, other sets that I, I'm going to part out. And uh, as I'm filming... Uh, once I'm done filming, I'm going to put these in my store and then I'll show you, show you guys the next cases. And look at this. In the beginning, for some reason, I destroyed, I damaged my containers. <laughs> I should get rid of these containers and get newer ones. Uh, now that I'm filming all this, I'm kind of embarrassed. But yeah, let's uh, move on to the next sets. Alright guys, change of plans. I had uh, more parted out sets to put into my store, but the problem is uh, within a day, I checked my brick link and I have six, six or seven, I don't know, but a few orders and a few big ones, over $50 and with many parts, it's not just minifigures, I like the ones with minifigures, I mean I like all of them, but that's why I increased my inventory of minifigures so that oh my daughter's here you want to say hi someone's excited all the time don't you wish you were a kid so you could be excited how do you know we're talking about legos she knows she knows i mean we have legos everywhere the whole garage is full of legos okay uh i'm gonna give the viewers a headache so yeah, let's prepare the orders and I'll kind of show you guys what, what the orders are and uh, we'll try to get back to par parting out. I feel like I have a backlog of a lot of stuff. Actually, we just added another box up here. You guys can see the Lego Movie 2 uh, CMFs and we just keep on adding them. But yeah, uh, so let's get to work and uh, we'll try to see. I have a backlog of stuff so I'm kind of it feels a little bit overwhelming, but it's just a couple of hours of work and uh, we'll get out of the, that backlog situation. The lighting's better over here, I guess. Okay, so let's skip over to that part. I think I'm going to start with, so you have these one, two, three, four, yeah, six. And that guy hasn't paid me yet. I, me I sent him two messages already. Um, but he's kind of new. Uh, I don't know if I should show you guys the usernames, so I'm pointing it over here instead. But yeah, I mean, this is good activity for the store. Uh, we want this. The thing is, sometimes it happens all at once, and it's going to happen more and more as we increase the lots, but it is the nature of growth. It's, it's a good problem to have. I'm thankful for it, grateful for it. Uh, I want to start with this one, the $55 order, because it's a box, and I'm not quite sure how much it's going to weigh, and the dimensions of it, and I want to invoice them, and I want to ship it. I really get antsy when I get uh, orders. I want to ship it as quick as quick quick as possible, and then I feel like it'll allow me to feel more creative with mocks. And you know, when I have all these orders and I have a mock I'm working on in the video, I just feel like I want to get these orders out of the way, ship ship them out as soon as possible, and then work on other things. Let's take a look at this. Hold on. I want to click on it so you guys don't see. Oh, there's my daughter's tricycle. That she uses twice a year. 
Okay. All right. So this got a lot of parts, different colors. Yeah, it's mostly Lego, and there you go. I think they bought all my bananas. Quite a few. You want you guys see the address? Yeah, and the other orders, most of them are minifigures. Okay, this order is progressing nicely. But now we need 55 plus 73. Um, yeah, try to not separate the lots like that, guys. When you uh, sometimes with the upload, uh, that can happen. Uploading to Bricklink, it gives you an option of consolidating. It uses another word, but kind of consolidating lots or not. Anyway, so in this case, I have two lots of the same. Uh, 5573 which is correct i do have that amount uh totals to 138 we're gonna use the weight scale no sorry the counting scale so let's get this over here all right we turn this on the lighting oh, on this corner of the garage isn't that great uh, but at least we could see the screen is nice and bright. All right, so teared it. Now, usually what I like to do is get the unit weight, calculates the unit weight for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously, if your part weighs more, you don't need to weigh too many of them. But if it's a smaller part like this, or piece, I like to have at least 20. So I could accurately calculate my uh, unit weight. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I got 20 right here. Alright, so we'll punch in 20. And then sample unit. Alright, now we can dump the rest. I think I said we need a total of 100, what did we say actually? Okay, we need 138, uh, but we have 130. These kind of mistakes can happen sometimes, uh, especially earlier on when I uploaded some parts. Uh, some parts doubled up or some parts didn't. Uh, it was odd. It was a brick stock to brick link. And even with brick link, sometimes you can make mistakes if you don't know what you're doing. So anyway, um, I'm kind of glad this mistake happened because it does happen sometimes, not often, but sometimes. And when it does, I contact the buyer and I tell them that I'll issue the, a refund or I reduce the price on the invoice of the missing pieces and if they still want the order. So I go through that process and usually they still do want the order and they're thankful that they were notified and then we proceed with the order. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then when I hear back from them, I'll continue with the packing. Okay, I got the order ready. And it's over a pound because on Bricklink, uh, it kind of estimates the, I mean, most of you guys know this stuff. It kind of it estimates the weight of your order. And this was already over a pound. I think it was a pound and five ounces. And uh, if it exceeds a pound, you need to use the parcel service. You can't do first class anymore, uh, which means just use a box if it's over a pound. And uh, my general rule of thumb, uh, I'm just sharing what I do. I know most of you guys are sellers or so kind of familiar with this. If you're not, then this would be helpful. If it's uh, 12 inches, it has the dimensions have to be uh, the largest dimension has to be less than 12 inches. So all dimensions have to be less than 12 inches. Inches, And if they are, then you won't be charged uh, the next category fee, which is, I think, medium-sized boxes or whatever the case is. But yeah, so just a rule of thumb here. Let's measure it. I already know that it's less than 12 inches. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I got my measuring tape right here. Let's see if I can get this. There it is. Okay. 
Hope you guys didn't get dizzy. I'm trying to hold this steady right here. All right, you see? 10 inches, we're good. 10 by, by, look at that. 12 inches, 10 by 12, we'll call it 12. It's like 11 and three quarters by, more or less, more or less, seven. Okay, so 12 by 10 by seven. Try to memorize that. All right, I got my packing peanuts, which I keep under this table over here. There we are. We'll just use a little bit of cushion in the bottom over here. I need an excessive amount as long as there's a little bit of cushion and we're good I'm thinking there's plenty of room here hopefully they ordered 32 of these uh, panel pieces Parts, pieces, parts, in dark red. Okay. Okay. Now we'll top it off with some packing peanuts and we're good. Nothing's gonna happen. I'll use quite a few. I'm using one hand. Huh, maybe I used the box that I used is maybe a little bit too big for my order. I mean, it's fine. Packing peanuts are not too expensive. You know, I could, I feel like I could have used some filler uh, material, which I have, but. Since I already got started with packing peanuts, I think it's fine for this time. But next time, I have this um, this brown paper uh, kind of material, and I have some excess of it. I actually saved it from orders that I had received, not necessarily Lego, but other packages. And recycling and reusing stuff is always fun. All right, now we gotta tape this. Let's see. Oh, the good old find the end of the tape trick. There's no trick, you just have to keep trying to scrape at the tape. Here it is, all right. Let's see, sorry for the shadow. Better this way. I'm actually reusing the CMF box. Came in handy. Oh no, I lost the edge again. Let's see. Yeah, my wife used up quite a bit of this tape. I think she had a Poshmark order today and someone bought some boots from her. All right, now we're going to weigh this. So we have the dimensions and now we'll get the weight again. Apologize for the shadow, but at least it's visible enough. We have it in pounds. Yeah. Okay. 
1.9 pounds so we got to convert the 0.916 multiply that by 16 yeah multiply it by 16 to get the ounces because there are 16 ounces in one pound so let me do that okay 0.916 pounds is roughly 14 point what 67 something like that ounces uh and i'll round it off to 15 so it'll be one pound and 15 ounces uh in my paypal calculator which i won't show you guys this time maybe in the future i will but uh yeah and i'll get my price invoice the customer and actually they get a 50 percent off because uh, per my store rules, $50 to $100 range orders get 50% off uh, of their total shipping cost. So I'll give them that discount. But yeah, um, I think that's it for this order. Okay, this is the second order I'm working on. And this one has a whole bunch of Batman figures. Actually, they're all from the Lego the lego batman movie series one yeah pretty much wow almost the whole collection isn't it feels like it um yeah and i have my cmf box right here i i'm really liking this idea of keeping the minifigs in their corresponding cmf box it just makes it so easy for me and they're already prepackaged. all i need to do is see this edge over whoops See this, uh, the seal, all I need to do is cut above it so it looks like it has a nice clean finish and they're already prepackaged. Uh, yeah, so I'll work on this. Uh, guys, it's just uh, in the comments below, uh, if you guys want to give me a suggestion, do you want the vlogs to be 30 minutes, 40 minutes long or uh, much shorter, 10, 15 minutes long? Maybe you're at work and do you have an hour to you know see me working in my store and the process and everything or you just probably want something quick uh, whatever the case is if you mention it in the comments below it would help my channel greatly and i would personally appreciate it very much okay we got this batman order ready you guys like how i have uh envelopes and makeshift tables and uh, packing peanuts all over the place and the table is just being used by Lego uh, and a water bottle and yeah it's kind of sad but I'm just right now I want to get these orders done once I get them done then I'll be able to think about organization okay so we got these just to show you guys what they ordered so they ordered 12 minifigures from the Batman series. There's my favorite Batman right there. The King Tut. The Eraser. I really like the Fairy Batman too. It looks hilarious. And the Orca looks awesome. Look at that. What an amazing minifigure. Okay, alright, I'm done admiring the minifigures let's put it in the back i mean the back the padded envelope there it is I haven't put a label on it. I'm going to put a label on it right now off camera. Just for the sake of the addresses. That's all it is. No other secrets. There we go. And that's it. We got all the... I well, we. I got all the orders ready. Seven of them. This is a uh, total... Uh, I'd say about $200. Excluding the shipping. With the shipping, it's more uh yeah uh, that's pretty much it for this video what else can i say i'm just gonna put them in the bag and take them tomorrow uh saturday's post office open and sundays it's not so that way 
whatever orders people place on Saturday, Sunday, I don't, I don't need to really pack them till Monday. So I have a couple of days off to do other things. Work on. I need to work on that Rock Edge video for the Jurassic Park mock, which I have over here, which is kind of messy. I will talk about this in the future. There's a tunnel that I'm working on. And it's kind of going to be another, it's not a mountain range, but uh, it's a higher elevation if you look at the topography. Yeah, there's more content to come, uh, guys, but I'm doing another one like this because the other one got um, a lot more views. And it's not, not only views, but also comments. And people genuinely enjoyed uh, the picking bricks and packing orders. So here's another one. And... Uh, Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos and commenting. And I will see you guys in the next one. This is Shot with CK Brick Collection.